and welcome back again. So right here is our rotoscoping exercise. So you can see some of the process that I had to go through. Only 58 frames. So first of all, we have our first read patch PNG. As you can see, it's just a solid image. And onto our read patch, we have connected in a roto pane. So what that roto pane is essentially doing is this one is revealing. So it is revealing a bunch of spots as well as doing a bit of clone tool, which I'll get to in a second. We then have our grade nodes. So this one is to add in the yellowy look. And we have our second grade node. So our second grade node has the exact same options as the first, but we've clicked reverse. Now, if we go into our pre-malt here, you can see it's always good to have a pre-malt connected in. The pre-malt being just this and we then have a tracker connected in as well. Now, over here we have our read one BG0040. So when I play through, you can see that it, it's changing with the light. And the reason why it's adjusting with the light is because of our grade one and grade two nodes, which we also have a curve tool hooked up to. So, our curve tool essentially creates a form of intensity and the curve tool is connected into read one as well as grade one that's hooked into read two and within our read one node we also have roto paint one alpha so with our roto paint one we have our bezier one and bezier two so the tracing of the hand and the knife. We then have a blur node so that it adds in a little bit of blur to the imagery to make it appear sort of nicer. And our merge two stencil combines those together. We then have our Roto Paint 3. So our Roto Paint 3 is doing most of the revealing. So you'll generally see little blotches come up throughout this. They can be up here, they could be over here, even like over here and here. Now, we didn't want any of that there because they're, they're bad. So if I play it straight from this, you should be able to see speckles see that a little speckle there those things we want gone so we remove them with our reveal tool so with our roto pane you can see we got all the little options here we got clone and reveal clone of course clones from one spot to another and reveal you can choose to paste in color from the next frame so from five to six so you can see when i go in five here <coughs> and click on the merge one over there's now no dot so that dot has been removed now following along with the usual thing we have our right node which we create over our merge two stencil and our merge one over has been combined we want it in H.264 format, leaving all the settings the same, and we'll click render and go one to 58. And once it is rendered, we then have our final product, which is this. <laughs> 